Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Menelik II Menelik II was born on the 17th of August, 1844, and was baptized as Salim Mariam. He was the son of Shewan Amara, an aristocrat. His maternal lineage remains uncertain, however, there are speculations that his mother was a slave girl. Menelik's father was the Negus Haile Melekot of Shewa. Before his father's death in 1855, he named Menelik as the successor to the throne of Shewa. Shortly after Haile Melekot passed on, Menelik was imprisoned by Emperor Tewodros II, who conquered Shewa and transferred imprisoned Menelik to the mountain stronghold of Magdala. It was in the stronghold that Menelik married Altash Tewodros, the daughter of Tewodros. Altash was the first of the three wives Menelik would eventually marry. While Menelik was imprisoned, his uncle, Haile Mikhail, was appointed as Shom of Shewa by Emperor Tewodros II. Following this appointment, Mikhail was given the title Meridasmak. He eventually rebelled against Tewodros and these resulted in his replacement. Menelik grew up to be cunning and strategic, probably due to the fact that he was badly treated alongside various other experiences he had. He gradually built his power base through different means. For instance, he organized extravagant three-day feasts to win the favor of locals. He also made friends among Muslims and struck alliances with the Italians and French who could provide him with firearms and political leverage against the emperor. Menelik sure had something up his sleeve. On the 10th of March, 1889, Emperor Johannes IV was killed in a war with Mahdist Sudan during the Battle of Galabat. Just before he died, Johannes declared his son, Dejazimak Mengasha Johannes, to be his heir. Fifteen days after the declaration, Menelik proclaimed himself as emperor, vibrantly violating Dejazimak's planned enthronement. After much debate on Menelik's power battle, he was consecrated and crowned as emperor on the 3rd of November, 1889, by Abuna Mateus, Bishop of Shewa, at the Church of Mary on Mount Entoto. This event took place before a large crowd of clergy and dignitaries. Immediately after his coronation, Emperor Menelik II toured the north and received the submission of the local officials in Lasta, Gojam, Welo, Yeju, and Begemda. Menelik was well read and traveled. He spoke French, English, Italian, Amharic, Oromo, Afar, and Tigrinya fluently. Although he was knowledgeable in various fields, he was particularly experienced in finance and had various investments, some of which were American railroads, American securities, as well as in French and Belgian mining. Manelik was married to three women, but never had a legitimate child. He fathered many children that were not his. On the 27th of October 1909, he suffered a terrible stroke and it was said that his mind and spirit had died. As a result, he was no longer able to reign. Emperor Steitu then took over the office. Menelik died in 1913 and his grandson, Iyasu, claimed the throne. A number of people suspected that Iyasu was a secret convert of Islam, which was the religion of his paternal ancestors. Their main concern was that having a Muslim on the throne would have severe implications for Ethiopia in future generations. Iyasu was never crowned. Menelik was buried on the 12th of December 1913 without an announcement or a ceremony. He was buried at Si Elbet Kidani Meheret Church, situated on the grounds of the Imperial Palace. He was reburied three years later in a specially built church at Baeta Lemeriam Monastery in Addis Ababa. 
as posthumous recognition, Menelik was featured as the leader of the Ethiopian civilization in the new Frontier Season Pass of Sid Meier's video game, Civilization VI. What have we missed out of this biography of Menelik II? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.